Hello, welcome to Life Watch. Today I want to talk about the envelope budgeting system. This will be the second video in our new series of different budgeting techniques. The envelope budgeting system is something I use, especially at a young age, that I found really helpful. Uh, as when I was a young adult getting bills, I would use the system in order to make sure that uh, I had all my boundaries covered uh, so I didn't come up short at the end of the month. So basically what this is, is every paycheck you get, you will take, so you get paid weekly, uh, you will divide all of your bills by four. And whenever you get paid weekly, you will go ahead, first thing you do is take out your paycheck into cash and uh, put it into envelopes like this. So I have a few uh, just examples here. We got gas, car payment, food, rent. All right, or house payment if you have a house payment. So say that your house payment is $800 a month or your rent is $800 a month. If you get paid weekly, then you would have to put $200 out of every paycheck into that envelope to cover your rent or house payment. If you get paid bi-weekly, then it would have to be $400. Uh, one very similar system we're going to kind of include with the envelope system is the different bank accounts. Um, if you do the bank accounts, you can uh, basically the same thing as the envelope system in that certain bank account every time you get paid you allocate that much money to make sure that you can pay that bill at the end of the month uh, one of the downsides is you typically have to be a month ahead if you're living paycheck to paycheck it's kind of hard to do this uh, so it's really good to start at an early age before you have a bunch of bills or if uh, say you get a tax return every year I got a friend at uh, work when he got his tax return in here he went ahead and put an entire months with the bills back and then he built it up uh, keep replacing that as he used it so that typically he always had that money ready to go because uh, most people pay the rent on the first of every month all right continue on such as car payments so you have a 400 dollars car payment which shouldn't have any car payment if you're uh you know watching these videos hopefully you don't have a car payment and uh that's a lot more money you have for different uh savings investing and other things you need in life Say so you have a $400 car payment, of course, that'd be $100 every week or $200 uh, bi weekly. Uh, same thing, food, figure out what your food budget is. Uh, we're going to say $400 for this example, so it'll be $100 uh, a week or $200 bi weekly. Entertainment, it's important. I always include an entertainment uh, because that uh, gives you something that's in your budget to go and have a little fun. It's very important to have fun. Uh, for our entertainment, typically we like to go to the movies and we'll go out to dinner. Uh, that's kind of what me and my fiance like to do. Uh, so say you put $200 a month in that, that's $50 a week. Uh, so typically every other week, you can pull from that money and go have you a date night, which I think is important for, uh, for people to be able to have a little fun. All right, uh, gas. Uh, say uh, you spend $20 a week in gas, you have a fairly easy car on gas and you don't live that far from work so it'll be twenty dollars a week uh utilities uh i put about three hundred dollars a month which would be 75 a week 150 by weekly now that would be like your uh water gas electric all right cell phone uh, i'm gonna have to put a hundred dollars i personally think that uh, if you're gonna do cell phone that the uh, prepaid option like straight talk or something for like fifty dollars a month is ideal but I know a lot of people uh, they like to have those fancy cell phones and they're paying for them. So uh, I put $100 at least a month on that, which would be 25 a week and 50 bi-weekly. So if you add all these up, uh, just in this section here, you get $570 a week. Uh, you'd have to put in uh, different envelopes in order to uh, make your bills. Uh, or it would be, uh, was that $1,130 bi-weekly. So what if you make more than that? Uh, well, one thing I should include it in here, which was savings, which should be close to at least 10% of your income. 50, so we'll say in this example, $50 should go into one of these, and that's for emergencies. Uh, you need tires for your car, car breaks down, uh, your washer or dryer goes out, something along those lines, you have, uh, you have funds to take care of it. So if we did that, that puts you up to like $620 a week, essentially, just in bills. So what you make over that, uh, that would be what I would call discretionary income. Uh, that's where money you could spend on stuff that you want. So it's, that's for your wants. Uh, I mean, you can't go completely 
uh, without buying anything you want unless you get real gung-ho and headstrong and everything and get just dive into that which i've seen people do it and it's amazing and i love hearing these stories where these people live on you know rice and beans and uh uh don't do any vacations or anything like that and they drive a crappy car and then they pay off forty five thousand dollars worth of debt in like 18 months or something crazy like that so uh it's important to have a little bit of a discretionary income for the average person so that you can buy stuff you want. And there's other expenses that pop up throughout the month. You may need shampoo, deodorant, all that stuff. You can actually budget that in. If that's a pretty big number for you, you can budget it into the system. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.